Yes, that's you. <laughs> you going Do with a little for a 12 midnight show. Tonight? Friday night. Who are you going with? Uh, I'm going with Nancy Robinson, maybe Michael Connor. I don't know yet. Um, I, get just, I got a bunch of times to my hometown or school. It's going to be fun. It's like I'm trying to get this gigantic group to go, and I'm trying to make sure at least half of them know the yeah. comebacks. What? I'm trying to make sure at least half of them know the comebacks. I saw it three times, but it's so plastic. Hey! That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Something happened, everybody yelled out. Like, Twice more before nine o'clock. Okay. Okay. Then do we leave? It's long as we leave. Just have to make more. Mm. Yeah, that's the way it's going to be. That's the way it's going to be. That's the way it's going to be. No, then we'll all get here tomorrow looking yes. like we look tomorrow. And that's how it will be. Come on. Come on. Did you put something on there? I want to eat pizza. We don't care about you having. Where is it? I don't have it. Where's the money? I don't have it. Where's the money? I drove down to the office. I used the same combination. The yes. price changed the combination. We changed I couldn't get it open. I kept trying until I heard someone coming. Well, you must have changed the combination. Well, you tipped them off. I crawled out of the window onto the fire escape, and I sat there until I realized it was all right. Did you tell them to? No, you must have changed the combination. Well, you changed your mind. I should have followed you. I don't have the money. It's not that easy. I have people to pay back. Oh, you said that before. I need money. If it's that important to you, why don't you steal it? It's not my job. I'm here to collect the money. Yeah, have you seen the skull boxes? Check with the Romanian acrobats. Thanks. I can see you don't have the money. Can't get blood from a stone. Which is a circus worth anyway? Come back Saturday night. That's our settle. I promise I'll have the thirty thousand. Thirty-five thousand dollars. Twerk. Thirty-five thousand dollars. Thirty-five thousand dollars. Al, forty-eight pairs of real tops, sixteen silver, sixteen black, and sixteen blue. That's the high wire in the acrobat. Oh, why didn't this one with the ball corner last week? There were complaints about the sizes and the fittings in the later times last year. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. What could be wrong? The circus is home. Everyone said I'm down. My daughter's getting married. The Nothing's wrong. I just thought I'd like to have a drink. Okay, I guess I am overreacting. Nothing? Nothing. In a few years, you'll be just as great as he was. He was a brilliant man. Brilliantly expensive. Thirty thousand dollars worth of brilliant expenses. Here's to you, Gregory Garson the Third. Don't blame my father. He never let a penny slip through his fingers. This one's yours, Al. You got us into this, and you're going to get us out. What are you talking about? Who else knows? Everyone knows. How much? Enough. Enough to know that Simon Legree is not your gay lover. He stops by every Tuesday and Thursday between 12 and 3. The rumor has it the last show was Saturday night. Well, it's only a rumor. Then do something before we all end up in the street. Do something, right? <laughs> Deidre, do you blame me? I tried. It's not my fault that Harrison left me with the business. You always arranged our finances. What did I do wrong? I don't have the slightest idea of where to begin. Costumes, programs, publicity, whatever. I rehire our financial consultant, but I don't have the money. Yeah, that's right. You never did like to talk about money anyhow. You're probably interested in your daughter, though. And is quite a young lady. She reminds me so much of you. Can you blame me? She's beautiful. <laughs> it's nice that she's decided to come home on a break. That way, we'll be back together like we used to be. Everything's fine. 
I recovered the uh, small boxes from the Romanian acrobats. They were using them to uh, pack their dishes in. Sometimes they were thinking of leaving. Thinking of leaving. Why, no one's been paid for three weeks. How could they leave? Uh, the only reason you have them here is because they belong to the union. <laughs> oh, well. Look at that one again. Which, in case, uh, runs out in uh, Sunday. I told you not to tell her. But I guess if you did tell her, it's okay. We are in a tight jam. Besides, maybe she'll get the support that we need. Uh, I'd offer you a drink, but it looks like I've already been confiscated. Uh, Wait! <laughs> Here! <laughs> the old actor hasn't lost his touch yet. No, I don't think we should celebrate until we get the word from him. That's a sobering thought. Sure is. I'm going to talk to the High Wire Act and uh, see how much that safety net's going to cost. Sit down. Relax. Let, let, let's talk about you now. No, I can't. See you later. Yep, yep. He's so much like myself when I was in cold in those many years ago. Your father was the clown back then. How will I ever ask for your hand from him? Oh, I'm so young. So young and alive. But that's all gone. I'm coming home to you soon. I can feel it. I'm growing old. Oh. I'm tired of blaming someone else instead, instead of accepting the blame that I killed you. Please forgive me. Jeffrey knows my routine. He also knows that he, he also knows the business end of the deal that I can't handle the business end of the deal. Well, I know he's only been here a few months, but he's young, organized, and creative. And on top of that, he's marrying our daughter, Abby. Where is he? Ken. He's right there. Come on, come on, we're waiting for you. Besides all that, he's marrying our daughter, Abby. <clears throat> Who are you? Now I'm going to introduce myself. The name is Barry, Ken T. Barry, and uh, you are? Al. Sir Al St. James of the St. James Circus. I'm from the Ken T. Barry Circus. Never heard of it. Oh, surely you heard of the Ken T. Barry Climactic Circus. Family entertainment. What? Oh, sex. Nickel and Dime, 42nd Street. Freak oh, shows. Nothing like that. We're freak shows, you know. The bearded lady, the dragon lady, an elephant with three eyes. Yes. I'm here to buy a circus. We're not for so sale. much. Oh, and um, who is this? Newman, Jeffrey, RS, Union President. The St. James Circus. The St. James, Union President of St. James Circus. How much? 50,000. We're not for sale. Of course, I know all about your financial situation. Otherwise, I wouldn't have offered. There's nothing wrong with our finances. I have the contracts all drawn up and waiting in my office. I like to give my clients plenty of time to think things over. Now, would you like me to send the contract straight to your lawyers? You're not selling. No, I'd like to, I'd like to see it first. Very well. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Remember, the show must go on. No. No? You're not going to sell. I didn't, I didn't have the size, I didn't sign anything. I sat here and listened. You, on the other hand, acted young and hot headed. Kicked him out of Congress up here. <laughs> I stand here listening. You know, when it when this when you're in as much trouble as the circuses, it pays to listen. 